Hey friends, welcome back. If we have not met yet, my name is Mary Howard and I am here with There's No Place Like Home NC, Red Boots Realty powered by EXP Realty. It's nice to meet you. This is the April market update and we will jump into that in just a second, but I wanted to share something that is really exciting to me and it is a program that we are offering. This program is focused on helping the service members that help our community. I've been working diligently with quality and trusted lenders that specialize with the VA loan products, but this program isn't just for veterans and active service members. It is including the whole heroes of our community here in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina region. It's the teachers, the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, the fire, medic, and police, all of you community leaders. So hit that subscription button and notification bell because we will be putting out the full video outlining the whole program as soon as we get everything in place. And feel free to share this with your hero. Okay, so the market update for 2022. This information has been provided by the Canopy Realtors Association and is the data for the month of March. This information is provided in arrears, so April's market update is looking back at March's stats. This information is for the Charlotte, North Carolina region and does include the 12 counties. So keep in mind, it's a really big picture of what's going on. In March, there were 5,253 new listings. That is down 8.1% from this time last year. But from February, we are up a little over 1,100 new listings. This doesn't surprise me because it's March. It's the beginning of the spring real estate season. Pending sales declined 9.6% from this time last year. We had 4,946 transactions, but again, month over month, we were up about 700 transactions. So there was a small amount of growth here as we expected. And for the next few months, depending on the inventory situation, I only expect this number to continue to grow. In the Charlotte region, there were 4,519 homes that made it to the closing table. That is down 10.2% from this time last year when we had 5,034 homes that closed. Month over month, we're up about 13 transactions. So again, a little uptick, a little bit of growth here. And honestly, throughout the rest of this year, I believe we will pale in comparison to last year simply because we don't have the inventory days on the market until sale. This is how long it takes you, a seller, to receive and accept an offer. In the Charlotte region, we are looking at 20 days in March. Last year, this time we were looking at 25 days. So we are down 20% from this time last year. But this time last month, we were sitting at 24 days on the market. So this is another indicator, one of those first indicators that the spring market is starting out. And by this number, it's already stinking hot, guys. The buyers that are using seasoned agents who know what happened last year are working their tails off to make sure that their buyers are able to purchase a home. And I've, uh, kudos. I got a comment on one of my other videos asking the question, how do I use an FHA loan in this market? How do I win the offer? And the short answer is you have to be prepared, you have to be decisive, and you have to have cash this stat proves it. You have to be prepared. You've got to have your pre-approval letter. You have to be decisive. When you're looking at homes to purchase in this market, you have to decide very quickly if you're going to write an offer. This stat here proves you have less than 20 days to see the home, decide to write the offer, and make it the best offer you can. So the next one is list to close, and this is telling you how long it took you as a seller from the day that you listed your home until the day that you were sitting at the attorney's table. And in March, that number is 76 days. That is down 3.8% from this time last year when it was taking 79 days. Last month, it was also taking 79 days. So month over month, we are down three days. I'm not terribly concerned about this number just yet. Last month, I did mention that when that number gets down in the low 70s or the upper 60s, then that would allow me to assume that the majority of those transactions would be cash transactions. And that is because it takes anywhere from 45 to 60 days to get through the loan process with the lenders. Whereas with a cash transaction, I've seen it done as quickly as 10 days 
from contract to close. Right now, if you are going to be a buyer in this market and you are financing your transaction, you're still in a good position because the majority of the transactions seem to be being financed. Also, what this is saying is if it's taken 20 days to get the contract accepted and the total time from list to close is 76 days, that means 76 minus 20 is 56. The contracts are still on average being written for 56 days. And that's the same as it was last month when I did last month's video. That just means that the homes are on the market less days before the seller is accepting a contract. Again, showing that if you are a buyer in this spring market that you've gotta be on the ball and decisive. When that home hits the market, you're going to have to be working with an agent that can get you in to view the property and to write your offer super fast. All right, so the median sales price in the Charlotte region. For March, the data says our number hit $369,236. That is up 20.4% from this time last year when our median house price was $306,750. It is also up month over month by $9,200. So this is the second month of record breaking median house prices in the Charlotte region. And although it definitely stings a bit, if you look around the median sales price in the states, well, let's just stay in North Carolina. Raleigh just hit 390K. Greensboro's median house price is trending 22.4% year over year. And if you go out of state, the big cities, Austin, Texas just hit 550, which is up 22%. And gosh, blew my mind, New York. How do you live in New York? I mean, you've got to have a money tree. They're up 100%. Their median house price is 850,000. So although Charlotte is increasing comparatively, we are still way below the other big cities as far as median home prices. And I know it doesn't really help much, but I'm trying to keep some perspective. All right, here comes my real estate math nerd fix. The percent over original list price received. This number tells you what you can expect to pay above list price. And in March, we are seeing 101.8 above list price. That is 1.7 above this time last year and 1.2 higher than this time last month. If you are getting into the real estate market this season, this is telling you that you can expect to pay 1.2% over list price. And if you've watched any of my other market updates, you know that this number is very location specific. Again, there are neighborhoods going well above and beyond this. And the deeper that we get into the selling season, I think this will continue to rise. I think the highest that we saw in 2021 was 2.0% in the whole Charlotte region. But I remember using this stat to help a buyer in this particular neighborhood was getting 22% over list price. And I'm certain there are other neighborhoods that were going well above that number. Find an agent that knows how to use the stat, knows how to prepare you and help guide you to make that right offer. Okay, so next up is inventory of homes for sale. In March, we had 2,455 homes available to purchase. And that is down 38.8% from this time last year when we had 4,012 homes for sale. This number is even down from this time last month when we had 2,721 homes for sale. And I get frustrated because I keep saying, well, I don't know how I'm gonna, da, da, da. So knowledge is power. And I went and did some digging and I found the censusus.gov website. And I'll put this up on the screen. And they release monthly reports similar to the NAR here um, and they released this on March 17th saying that in the month of February, there was 1,769,000 new residential construction permits issued nationwide. Their next report is gonna be released on April 19th, so just a couple days from now, and I'm excited to get my hands on that. I did try to look up the permits in Mecklenburg County, and I could not find like a ready-made list like this, so if any of you guys know where I can find that, please let me know educate me and stick around because we're going to learn some new things soon. <laughs> so with that number 2455 homes that were available that leads us to 0.5 of a month's supply of inventory which is down 37.5 percent from this time last year when we had 0.8 of a month's supply and we are down 0.1 from this time 
last month. So you have the median sales price rising, you have the days on the market lowering, and you have the shrinking supply of homes to purchase. If you are a seller or a homeowner wishing to sell your home, you may be afraid that if you do sell your home, you're not going to be able to purchase a home. Now, that's a big concern. Completely can hear and understand that. For you, I would suggest after funding and working with a seasoned agent, investigate bridge loan type programs that will allow you to make an offer on your next home without contingencies. There will be some additional fees with programs like that. And there are a couple out there, a few pop in my head right now, but being able to get into your new home without having to be worried about the sale of your existing home could make that whole transaction and transition a little bit easier for you. If you are a buyer in this market with the way things are, I would tell you again, you've got to be prepared you've got to be decisive you've got to have cash and you've got to have a team that understands what's going on and how to best help you get to the end goal which is owning your own home if you found any value could you please hit that thumbs up button below if you have any questions or comments feel free to call text or email me my information's on the screen and in the descriptions below watch that next video that just popped up on your screen Thank you for watching. My name is Mary Howard and this is There's No Place Like Home NC. Take care.